back. It's me again, Teacher Net. And today, I'm going to discuss to you about estimating products of 3 to 4 digit numbers with reasonable results. So let's begin. So what is estimate mean? It is finding a number that is close enough to the right answer or the actual calculation of the given. Without estimation skills, you are not able to determine if your answer is within the reasonable range. And you will be able to use mental math to more quickly arrive at a reasonable solution. In a real-life situation, we do estimation. When we go shopping in malls and the grocery stores, we're trying to stay within a budget. We estimate the cost of items as we put in the cart to keep our budget or your mom's budget. When you're purchasing a tickets for a group of people in cinema, and when you go for dinner with your friends, we estimate the cost as we divided the bills. Let us find out how to estimate the product. First step, round the multiplicand and the multiplier to the highest greatest value. Second, multiply the rounded factors to get the estimated product. Let us try estimating product. Estimate the product of 193 times 22. So the first step is to round the multiplicand and the multiplier to the highest and greatest place value. So, in, on the multiplicand, we have 193. And the greatest place value is on the hundreds place. So round it to the nearest hundreds and that will be 200. For the multiplier, the greatest place value is 10. So round to the nearest tens and that will be 20. So for the second step, multiply the rounded factors to get the estimated product. So the factors are 200 times 20. Just to give you a technique, just multiply first the non-zero numbers. So that is 2 times 2. What is 2 times 2? That is 4. And now, just count the number of zeros and put it as your product. So the final answer is 4,000. Try. Estimate the product of 272 times 21. So the first step is to round the multiplicand and the multiplier to the greatest or highest place value. For the multiplicand, we have 272 and the greatest place value is hundreds place. So 272 will become 300 and for the multiplier, the greatest place value is tens. So 21 will become 8. For the second step is to multiply the rounded factors starts with the non-zero numbers. So, 3 times 2 equals 6. And then, count the number of zeros and put a short product. And the final answer is 6,000. How about this one? Let us try. Estimate the product of 345 times 34. So, let us first round the multiplicand to the nearest hundreds place. So, that is 300. The multiplier round to the nearest tens, that is 30. Next, multiply all the, the rounded factors. So, again, multiply the non-zero numbers. 3 times 3 equals 9. And then, count the number of zeros and put as your product. So the final answer is 9,000. Let us try another one. 567 times 36. So round the factors to the greatest place value. 567 will become 600. And 36 will become 40. And then multiply all the rounded factors. 
start with the non-zero. 6 times 4 equals 24. And then, count the number of zeros and put a short product. So, the final answer is 24,000. Okay, so we're doing great. Let us try another one. 707 times 136. So, round to the greatest place value. 707 will become 700. 136 is 100. And then, multiply the rounded factors. Begins with the non-zero numbers. 7 times 1 is 7. And then, count the number of zeros and put as your product. And the final answer is 70,000. Okay, remember guys, to estimate product, round the multiplicand and the multiplier to the highest and greatest place value. And then multiply the rounded factors to get the estimated product. 